Hey guys, I'm Kelly and this is my channel Incredible Anyway where I talk about how to live an incredible life no matter what your circumstances are. In this video we're talking about chronic illness, disability, and dating and I have my good friend Shanna here with me. We're going to talk about this together and answer some of your questions. Shanna loves vintage and flea marketing and she has Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome and POTS and she has a Golden Doodle service dog. So are you excited to talk about dating? Yeah. Yay! As we're talking about dating, this is just two people's experiences and like anything that's related to chronic illness and disability, experiences are going to vary from person to person. So this is literally just our experiences and that's going to be, you know, unique to our health issues but also our age and everything in between. So. Make sure you remember that when we talk about different things because when we're talking about apps in this area, we don't really feel like it's specific to chronic illness and disability. Mm -hmm. Like it just doesn't really matter. It's kind of what you feel comfortable with. And when we started, we were starting to look into dating to not together, but at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> and I said that, that confused a couple of people. <laughs> so we started dating at the same time and we were looking at apps and you had done some research online about the different apps that we weren't even, some of them we didn't, I had never, I never heard, heard of. of. Yeah. yeah. Just because you haven't heard of an app, don't shy away from it. When it comes to choosing an app for dating, it's all gonna vary based on age, and what you're looking for. For example, when it comes to our age group, we're gonna look for this select group of apps and it's gonna be different from somebody who's in their lower 20s. When it comes to choosing an appropriate app, you wanna look for what's gonna work for the type of relationship that you're looking for. If you're just looking for something that's short term, for something that's casual, or if you're looking to get something long-term and get married. So right. people that are looking for very serious relationships tend to look for generally the paid apps. They're right. looking for something that has really long profiles, tons of information, huge algorithms. Other sites are quick and easy and you flip through things real fast. Mm -hmm. We have, did get a question about apps and the question said, is there an app or a website you like better over the other? I'm tired of the intrusive questions. You had a good answer for that. My immediate response to that is people are just people. Mm -hmm. There's going to be intrusive questions no matter, no matter what the app. Because across the apps, it's the same. It's the same people. People are human. If they see something chronic illness related or not, they're, they're going to respond. Yeah. Because people are just, just people and they're rude and it's unfortunate. I would have thought, oh, eHarmony, because it used to be thought of as like a Christian app, which I wouldn't say that necessarily anymore. I think there's all sorts of religions and people that use it, but I would have thought, oh, maybe people would be nicer there uh, or let, have less intrusive questions there. But I've gotten very intrusive questions there as well. So I just don't think it really matters. Like she said, people are people everywhere. Mm -hmm. They're going to be considerate if they're considerate everywhere and they're going to be rude and invasive everywhere. So unfor that's yeah. unfortunate truth. But yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching this video on chronic illness and disability and dating. If you have any questions for us, let us know in the comments section. If you have a video request, let us know. I am Kelly. And I'm Shanna. And you, you are, are not, not alone. alone. Bye guys. Bye. You are not alone in this world you are not alone you are not alone in this world you are not